Well, we just talked about him. T.J. Yates is in. Holds most of the North Carolina North, North, North. records. First game he's been active. Second down and 10. Arian Foster. Down to the 45. Good looking run. Picks up 10 on the play. Take a look at the left shoulder. Look at this. Driving into the ground. And when you land on that shoulder, like he did with the weight of Mincy on your back, he drove it right into the turf. And look at Liner. He starts to walk right over to the sideline. Here's the blog on TJ. Fifth round pick out of Houston, University of North Carolina for a couple of years. And that is something else. An eighth rookie quarterback. This is just amazing to, for him to come into the game at this point. Do you let him throw it here? Do you continue to run it? Well, he's and going to the locker liner. room. He's yeah. gone. He is going to the locker room. They're going to go check him out. But this is the third Houston quarterback in less than two games. How about this? You talk up. Here's a first place team that's won four in a row with the table set in their division. First and ten. Yates at the 45, his first NFL pass. That is grabbed on the play, caught by Owens. It's a pickup of five. He's to the 40. What did Arian Foster tell us? He said Gary Kubiak is probably the best at keeping the backup quarterback ready to go. Second down and five on the screws, caught by Jacoby Jones. Grabbed on the play by Kevin Rutland. That's a first down to the 30-yard line. Another pickup of 10. He looks good back there. Of course, he doesn't have time to think about it. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't even have time to warm up. Oh, my gosh. First and ten. Oh. Gets it back. And throws out of bounds wisely in the vicinity of that pass was Owen Daniels. You can almost wonder what's going through his head. Second down and ten. Here are the injured Texans this season. Area Foster missed the first two games with a hamstring injury to start the season six games missed by Andre Johnson Mario Williams out for the season and so is their starting quarterback Matt Shaw but now looks like Matt Leiner their second quarterback has been knocked out of the game TJ Yates 44 Please. starts at North Carolina all-time passer second down and 10 Brown with the block at the left tackle good looking catch Owen Daniels galloping and flying down to the five he sails out of bounds at the six. A 24-yard catch and run. Landry forces him out of bounds. First and goal, Texans. And I think they just learned you don't want to blitz him. You could see Plus Lusney blitzing. And so he gets rid of the ball and gets it over to Daniels. Look at the pressure right in the face of the quarterback. Here comes Daniels over the middle of the field. T.J. Yates staring down the gun a little bit on that blitz play to find his open tight end in the middle of the field. Again, he has not been active all season. But now he is the backup with the injury to shot, the insertion of Leonard. Yeah, yeah, First and goal at the six. Out of bounds. Played for Butch Davis in North Carolina. He was now gone as the Carolina head coach. Second down and goal. Smart play. Just get rid of it. No one's open. You just dump it off. TJ Yates in a very tough position. How about you start this? This drive off going three for four. And now they're going to call it. Tension grounding. Offense. Number 13. 10 yard penalty. Lost it down. Second down. I'll oh, give him a break. I said it was a smart play. I, I think you got to get rid of it. He certainly don't want to take the sack there. You see what? But if you're in between the tackles and it's not near an intended receiver, see, he's in that tackle box. And it's not near an intended receiver. That's why they're calling it intentional ground. There's a 10-second runoff because of the penalty. It stays second down and goal now at the 16. Hey, he's second down. High defensive backs for Jack Del Rio's Jacksonville Jaguars. Arian Foster. Up nicely as he tried to bounce outside. Not a lot of room. John Chick from the Canadian Football League brings him down. No timeouts. Clock continues to tick. It's third and goal. They spike it. 
now fourth and goal. And they'll go for three. So Yates got him down there with a couple of catches by Owen Daniels and then one by Jacoby Jones. Yeah, if you're Gary Kubiak, you are concerned nonetheless. Oh, because Yates comes in, he makes a couple of plays, gets him in into field position with the throw to Owen Daniels. And it is their hope that Neil Racker, he can make good on this field goal kick and give him three more points before halftime. 33 yard try by Neil Rackers. He'll nail it 20 to 10. The Texans have gone on top by 10, but their concerns now a lot greater.